was a lot of changes that have been made through IFAB um, for the laws of the game for the upcoming season um, and it's important that the people who are reporting in the game are educated and informed correctly so that they can be accurate and obviously that then has uh, a wider implication to educate the supporters um, and it's important that everybody's aware of the changes and uh, how it's going to benefit the game. These pre-season guidelines that we go over with the clubs, the managers, the coaches and the media are always very well received. The, if the media are going to commentate on games then it's important that they know the technicalities of why a decision was made. I think the first thing it strikes you is how much you don't know, you know, even the, with the modifications of the new rules, the things that previously have come to light are things that a lot of maybe, maybe ignorance about certain certain things that they don't appreciate and definitely it was illuminating from that point of view. I think denying of the school scoring opportunity will be um, the biggest change for supporters because we're changing an offence which was previously a red card into a yellow card, uh, but it's a, a change which I think is, is going to be positive. Uh, and benefit the game um, because it's something that um, players and, and coaches had been asking for for a, for a number of years to avoid the, what was previously referred to as a sort of triple punishment. Um, so that will be removed now if there's obviously a genuine attempt to, to, play, to make a tackle within the penalty that it will be punished um, with a penalty kick and a yellow card. There's been a kind of tinkering with the rule to make it fairer. Stephen Stevens spoke about the fact that it's common sense issues and common sense issues definitely prevail here and I think uh, there are good positive changes. The reason the changes came about so many was we established a technical subcommittee uh, with, uh, within the football environment of coaches, ex-coaches, ex-managers, ex-players who voiced their opinion on the laws of the game in general. So that enabled us to put all that information together and come up with which, which are positive changes. Supporters should welcome the changes because I do believe they're fairer. I think it'll take a while to adapt. I think fans will have to understand that uh, for these rules to bed themselves in, things that they naturally take for granted might not happen. And I think they've got to understand that, uh, again, the point was made by John, that it's going to work for the same for both, both teams.